Hey everybody, still Thursday, July 21 here. Santa's feeling a little bit better. He at least uh, got a little bit of food in his stomach. And uh, seems to be settling in okay. But today was the big day for the water tank. Let me show you. So uh, everything's hooked up, including the water line. And uh, we already have water in here. We're uh, about halfway. I told them to stop at halfway and just give it a little time. Make sure nothing's moving, make sure nothing's leaking, make sure the metal's not bowing, make sure everything looks stable. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, so that's what it is. It's about halfway, which is uh, 1,500 liters. Full tank is 3,000 liters. There's an automatic stop in there, like a kind of like a toilet bowl ball. It's it looks like the same type of the way the old toilet bowls used to stop with the ball on it, and that stops it at three quarters. Uh, so we could go as high as three quarters, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put more in it if it's not, uh, you know, if it's looking good, which it is right now. I'd like to give it a little more time just to see it settle in, make sure everything's looking all right. But right now, uh, everything's good. We have water flowing out of it. There's all kinds of valves here. This valve here is uh, uh, just to let air pressure out. If we uh, have too much air in the system uh, here's where it goes in it's kind of buried you can see where beam dug in here and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you where where the hose is I told him to go this way he, he was originally gonna go this way I said no I don't want all my grass dug up anyway back to the flow here you can see a little bit of water coming out here that's going to go to our showers. Then this valve here is another shutoff. Uh, and then this valve here. That, uh, that regulates the other side here. If we want to hook this up to something eventually. And then there's another one here. That can be hooked up to something else. We have plenty of other things you can hook this into. We can even hook it into our existing uh, showers over there, which we may do eventually. But it doesn't look like anything's leaking. I see a couple drips coming off of this. But if a little bit drips, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Since the water is free, we're only paying for the hookup. Yeah, I can see a little leakage. A beam still has to put the floor in, but it's been raining here a lot, so he hasn't been able to pour the cement. So this will be all cemented. I guess when he cements it, it'll cover up all this PVC. Which I don't know if it's that's a great idea, but that's what they do around here. Anyway, uh... The blue hose, we only needed two rolls instead of three. And he brought it all the way here. I told him to put a hole in this wall to make it a neater fit. Which is a way better idea than what he was going to do. And then we ordered a lot more stuff here for the building the showers. We didn't get everything, but we got quite a bit of it. There's still uh, more to get, but uh, this is like 30,000 pesos worth of stuff already, including the cement. We don't have the hollow block yet, we don't have the uh, sand yet, and we don't have the roofing, the roofing for the showers, but I think we have everything else. Another uh, 600 bucks, and then of course it was another hundred bucks for the extra hose and other things we needed 
This hose is a uh, 4,000 base hose a roll. So he's going to bury all this part. This part's going to be buried. Not the whole way. But this runs all the way up. All the way up. And crosses the street underneath the uh, creek. So no cars are going to run over it. So that's it. That's what he was doing today. That's all of it. Big job. These other people are checking their lines. They're always checking them. They're always having problems with them. They need to hook up to the person we hooked up to. I don't even know where they get their water from, to be honest with you. See this guy here? They got those black lines I showed you all on several videos ago that run all over the place. And a bunch of them actually run underneath our driveway. We told them to move them before we poured the driveway, put the stones down, but most of them didn't. Most of them didn't do it. So now they're probably having problems with their water lines. We told them. That's it everybody. That's really all I wanted to show you. It's been a fairly busy day. And it's been uh, really hard keeping these kids occupied when it's raining. Hey, Jimmy's back from his adventure, so I'm going to cut this video. Say thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Santa Claus, over and out.